Hello there everybody, Oimon here, and welcome to Perception. A sort of small little indie horror game that has a really nice style to it. As you can see in sort of in the background, like sound becomes visuals. Like you, you play a blind person and you see by hearing. And uh, it, it looked really fun, it looked really sort of unique. Uh, there is like a minor horror element to it, but I, I just love the style of this game. I think it looked really, really good. Um, so I don't know what it's about beyond the fact that you play a blind person. It's like my chatty Cassie, Silent Night. I like to get to know my character. Cassie talks a fair amount. Okay, we'll go with chatty. Ooh, it's like my story, spooky or scary. Experience the ghostly story of Echo Bluff, free of uh, significant danger. A mix of story and danger, the original version of the game. Uh, Dime brings you to the entrance to Echo Bluff with all your progress intact for people who enjoy a bit of risk. And there is a much more aggressive Dime brings you to the main menu for those who enjoy a challenge. Well, if that's the way it was intended, the original version of the game, I'll play that. So we'll go for a spooky mode. That was odd whistling. Anyway, um, so I don't know much about this. Apparently they've added in extra modes over the, the months since it's released. So that, that's always good. Uh, I might give those a go on my own time. Whoa. Inspired by true you events. Blind. You learn a thing or two about trust. Okay. You learn who to trust. Lovely. You learn what to trust. Focus, Cassie. What's this sound? Fan. A fan. Good. Now, what's in front of a fan? I don't know. Cassie, sounds are how we see. Hmm. Listen. Tap your cane. Oops, space. Whoa. It's a coffee mug. Right. <laughs> Excellent. Though you are without sight, it does not mean you cannot see. Cool. I and still most can't move importantly, yet. you learn to trust yourself. Well, Even well. if that means hopping on the first flight to Boston to find the mansion from your nightmares. Ooh. I don't know why I've been having these dreams for months now, and I certainly don't know what's waiting for me at Echo Bluff. Cool. But I do know I can't take much more of the torment. So I'm trusting myself to get to the bottom of it. This is cool. I go to the door, apparently. Ooh, breezy. So we're off to Echo Bluff, which is a... Oh, Gloucester. I live near Gloucester, except in the UK. Ooh. Phone vibrates, doesn't it? Hello? Candy, I'm on my way to stay put. Look, considering you're boarding and I'm at the door, we're both past the point of no return here. I'm tired of being told what I can't do. I want answers. I want to sleep. I want my life back. And I want to prove I can do this. Cool. Well, this is off to a good start. So apparently something about nightmares and Hello. I know nobody's there, but I'm just doing my due diligence. Oh, and it's open. That's never Hello? a good sign. Probably should have worked out a plan if someone is, you know, here. The rope? Oh, that doesn't sound good. Cool. In my dreams, I always see a rope, a ticket, an apple, and an axe. Ugh. Maybe start there. A rope, a ticket, an apple, and an axe. Pipes? That's weird. There's a door over there. A lot of stuff blocking. That's stairs? Yep, that's stairs. 
Whoop. Not much I can do about it, unfortunately. Oh well, through the next door. This this game's style, I love it. I mean, using sound as like a a means of seeing is nothing new in a game. I think I've played a few games like this over the years. It's Deep breaths, Cassie. You're here for a reason. It's um fireplace. Can I? Dearest Richard, happy anniversary, my love. What a perfect way to begin our 10th year together. New house, new baby on the way. I know this fresh start is the perfect way to complete our family. Felicia. How are you actually reading that? That's weird. What was that? A memory? Ooh. Well, things just got spooky, didn't they? An old fireplace here for some reason that seems to be important, but I can't do anything with it. What's with the hissing noise? I hear hissing, but I don't understand why. So, somebody was eating pizza. That's a thing. Oh, and it's locked. But at least they highlight things in different colors. So, yeah, like I was saying, there's nothing in and of itself new about it, but I love the presentation of this. Like, what is that? Felicia's pregnancy suits her. She glows. She walks around holding her tummy. Sometimes she just smiles for no reason. Hm, I was worried about the solitude of this place, but I think the impending addition is going to be her whole world. Until then, I just need to keep a batch of chocolate chip cookies on hand at all times. <laughs> it appears cravings aren't just a wives tale. Well, fair enough. Have all these boxes been moved? I remember there being a lot more of them once upon a time. Landmarks and memories appear in green. Yeah, I, I kind of worked that out. Anything over here? No. Well, I guess we're going upstairs now. Got me a little on edge, because there were footsteps there that were not mine. What was that? Ooh, that's useful. You know me, I like to explore. I like to see what's around. There's a door hiding behind there. You can't fool me. See, look, I see it. Sort of. I hear rumbling. Nope, it's locked. Hello? 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 Open up. No, it's all locked. Oh. Hello? Oh no, is it ghosts? It might be ghosts. <laughs> oh cool, yeah. That's a good sign, isn't it? Oh no. Oh dear. Okay. Well, that just happened. Ooh. I have no idea what's going on. Are we gonna wake up anytime soon? Now, Cassie, that music box belongs to St. Joseph's, not to Cassie Thornton. Put it back. I need the music box to help me fall asleep. It's a new house. I'm scared to go. Ugh. But I love this song. I can't seem okay. to. Okay. Fine. I'll leave it for the next go. What was that? A memory of an orphanage, perhaps? Wish I'd left that one buried in the backyard. What brought that back? Baby's room. 
Whoa, metal. That's loud. It's open. This place is probably going to be quite big. Did the thing move? It did not move. Okay, that's fine. Let's keep going. Then. There it is, the rope. Really? Oh, hello. What's this? What the pregnancy manuals don't prepare you for is that first kick. It feels like you swallowed a big fat goldfish and it's <laughs> flopping around in your stomach. Lovely. <laughs> Maybe we'll name her Goldie. Goldie. Huh. Interesting. Swallowing a giant goldfish. Well, that's a mental image I didn't really need, but okay. Oh, no need to hide. Oh dear. Oh, I can run. So we have rope. Whoa. I don't understand. This is the rope. The same damn rope for my dreams. What the hell does it mean? Damn. I've always loved this agate. Wish I left that one buried in the backyard. Oh, that doesn't sound good. That was not an echo. I don't know. Is there something there? On a scale of 1 to 10, how much should we be hiding right now? Apparently I still don't need to hide. Which I think is bullshit, but whatever. There was something over here. There was a rock. And I picked it up and then I got interrupted. So let's grab it again. Hang on. I always loved this agate's healing properties, but last week when I had a stomach ache, I went to touch it and it was hot. The stone wasn't in the sunlight or by a heater, and the stones around it were cool to the touch. What really worries me is that it's a protection stone. Weird. Oh, no, 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 no. Open up. I want to go in there. I'm actually a little on edge. I will say the. The fact that you can't see makes everything a little bit scary. I keep finding these little things in the strangest places around the house. The last one I threw over the side of the cliff because it made me feel dizzy when I touched it. But here it is. The same one with the unstitched eye back under our bed. Ooh. And it's a little soggy. Spooky. The place is haunted. Right down there? Grab a book. Tossing and turning and tossing and turning. I used to sleep on my belly before I got pregnant. Now I roll around like a woman possessed. This baby kicks so frantically sometimes. It must be very excited. I hope. Ooh. Well, that's a thing for you. I read that book. Okay, so now. So that's where I need to go, apparently. But there was something in here. Files, like a study. Yeah, it must be a study. What's this? Gloucester's an interesting town. Salty. Not unfriendly, mind you, but rough around the edges. Wary of outsiders. There's a sort of paranoia there. A collective nervousness all the folks share. They're a jittery sort that could use a downer here or there. I wonder if it's due to the town's fishing village nature. A sort of impermanence that comes with working in the sea. An odd place, but not entirely unpleasant, just charged. That, or they didn't like this house's previous owners. <laughs> hmm. That's a thing, 
I suppose. Ah, stairs going down. Did that door just lock behind me? It did. Great. So you gave me a couple of hiding spots that I couldn't actually use. Like an introduction, perhaps? Oh, hey, kitchen. Yay, kitchen. Where's the yummy food? Be the best thing to take the edge off of this creepy situation. So, according to... Anything in here? Whoa, tree. It was the tree in my dreams and I just forgot. Wonderful. What the hell? Who's here? Hello? That sounds good, doesn't it? Oh, that's close. I hear something. Sounds like someone's throwing up. Oh, this door's open now. Oh. Hi. Ghost. Actual ghost. Was that the... <coughs> I was going to say pregnant woman throwing up in the morning. Honey, can you grab the pills you prescribed me for morning sickness? I left my purse in the car. Yeah, sure. I'll grab them. Jesus. Hmm. I'm really trying to work out what the heck is going on around here because I honestly haven't a clue. This house is huge. I've completely lost my sense of direction in it. Okay, that's clearly the way I need to go, so I'm going to go explore first. Oh, are we back in the kitchen? Why are these fireplaces here? Or are these places I can hide? Probably places I can hide. Nope, nope, it's all still blocked off. I can run, I mean, that's a thing, I suppose. Okay, that was just weird. You're imagining things, Cass. Yeah, push shift to run. I already worked that out, thanks. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little on edge, in case you couldn't tell. We're going in there, apparently. Oh, it's a bird. Hi! So, I'm trying to work this out. Is this, like, um... Or was it Felicia and Gregory? Are they supposed to be like my parents? Well, my character's parents or something? Richard makes fun of me for it, but I hate the dirt here. There are no worms, for goodness sake. Oh, no wonder my little seedlings aren't taking root. Tomorrow I'll head down to a bait shop and see if some night crawlers do the trick. So I need to get something out of the or maybe the boot. Ah, there we go. Bird. Patient, Briar, Felicia, 20 milligrams fluke sodine, tabs. Instructions, take twice daily with water. Dr. Richard Briar. What kind of doctor prescribes to his own wife? Um, that's actually a very good question. I wonder, is, I mean, we don't really know. I mean, I suppose there's cassette tapes and stuff, so it can't be that long ago. Hello. 
Oh, bye. New text message from Surge. Hey, about to board. What's up? Not angry, just concerned. Look, I need answers. I just got here and this shit's messed up. I'm onto something. And I'm starting to think I'm having these nightmares for a reason. Message sent. I suppose we should this go. This place feels. Give her the pills. Different. Wait, what? Wait, is time passed or something? That thing was in the garage again. With the baby sitting on my bladder, it took all my self-control not to wet myself. My nerves are shot. I, I need some tea. There's something weird going on here. Um, unfortunately, I'm out of time, which is a shame because I'm really into this. Were those accessible before? No, they weren't. There was something in the way. Anyway, yeah, I am out of time. So I'm going to have to leave it here. I'm afraid. Um, I may nip back because I remember seeing something back there. But we'll see what happens between episodes. So, yes. We shall leave it. And um, we'll see what happens. This is... this. I, I'm a little more tensed up about this than I thought. The being blind thing and having to use the echolocation, it's actually very disorientating. Like, you know, you, you really do feel a bit of sympathy for people who are actually blind. Um, yeah, this is, uh, this is a good game. I like it. Okay, so, thank you all for watching, everybody. Please remember to do all the good YouTube stuff. Please like the video if you did. Please share the video around if you're so inclined. Uh, leave me a comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts about this game. And, of course, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to also hit the bell because YouTube is flaky about uploads these days. And, of course, uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Link is in the description below. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next part.